What's up everyone, today I'll be showing you how to get pre-E3 Frank into Dead Rising 1 on the PC. I'll try to make this as short-winded as possible, I have a tendency to make these videos kind of long, but in essence, Stippo has managed to get the pre-E3 Frank model, if you will, like those textures, into the PC version, which is an amazing accomplishment. Um, he is doing great work with the modding community. So first off, what you want to do is you want to head over to the Dead Rising 1 mod page. Um, I'll link that into the description and you'll see me doing this. I'm going to do this video as if I was actually doing it, like actually modding it. So it's all going to be one shot, no editing or anything like that, unless if I get really tied up somewhere, but I doubt it. So we downloaded the pre-E3 Frank mod and you can do the hair and the HUD if you want. You're going to download a quick BMS, Dead Rising 1 text tool and the arc tool, we're gonna convert it and we're gonna decompile the arc. I'm gonna show you which arc that Frank is in. That's the part that I struggled with, but I found him. And we're gonna insert the text file into the arc and recompile. Thankfully, by other mods, I was able to find him by process of elimination. And then, profit, GG, easy peasy, get Rick scrub. All right, so go to Google or whatever we wanna do, like bing.com, I don't know. Go to the Dead Rising 1 PC mod forum. This is the haven of PC mods for Dead Rising, and also the other games too. Two, the last good one, three, eh, and four, I guess? I don't even fucking know about that game. Anyway, Dead Rising PC modding. So we're gonna go over to the mod releases. And right here we have the pre-E3 Frank beta. So this is awesome. Download here, we're gonna click this. That's gonna download, bam, and ignore any advertisements. Yeah, you'll see numbers next to my download files because I've already done this. Now, I use WinRAR to unrar these things. Um, you can probably use WinRAR for free. So, I have pre E3 Frank there. And then we're going to go to the Stippo mod release thread. And you can grab the HUD and the beta hair if you want. I'd recommend this very much so. But if you don't want to, all this is is clicking and dragging like the ARC files into your main folder. I mean, I don't think you need a tutorial on how to do that, so I'm not gonna waste time downloading that. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to, we're just gonna back out and we have all the tools here. Go to the arc tool, we're gonna download this. And that's not a big download either. And WinRAR wants me to buy it, but I, I just keep using it. WinRAR is pretty OG stuff. And then we're gonna go to the texture compiler. Now this is where I ran into my first issue. This link is broken right here. Um, not not that one, but the quick BMS link is. So first, since we're here, but this is a good little tutorial on how to use quick BMS and how to convert the files. We're gonna go DDR1 text tools. This is like the little scripts that we're gonna use. We're gonna unrar that. So just get everything ready. And we're going to Google quick BMS. And you'll see this link by Luigi. I don't even know how to spell, uh, pronounce that. So um, I'll put this in the description, this link. And just click this and you'll download the Quick BMS generic folder. That's three. I've attempted to do this video twice and I just, I get tongue tied pretty easily. So wait for that to download. Not sure why that's taking so long. It's probably like, dude, why are you downloading so much? Uh. All right, so minimize this. I think we're done with the internet for now. Now, this is the the important part, is the quick BMS folder. So, find your pre-E3 Frank folder. All this, I just throw it to my desktop. Um, it's easier for me, at least. So, you'll see the files. You'll see COS001 and PL00. Open these, and we're gonna move these DDS files into the quick BMS folder. And I'm gonna do that for the PL00 files as well okay so we are done with that and now we're gonna open up the DR1 Dead Rising 1 text tools and we're gonna drag these BMS scripts into the B quick BMS so now we are basically all ready click on quick BMS.exe my antivirus picked up this as something bad I really don't think it is just because um, Norton at least thinks anything you're editing file wise is like a Trojan, it's a false positive. So just in case you're using like AVG or something like that, just be on the lookout for that. 
I'm going to click DDS BMP 2 text. That's basically exactly what we need. It was um, illustrated on the tutorial when we downloaded this as well. So click on that and click all of the DDS files and you're ready. Open and it says click enter the output folder. This is fine. And what this is going to do is going to place into our texture files. And this is going to be perfect to put them into the arc. So, or the arc files rather. Okay, so we have all of our, our textures. I'm just going to do a search for our texture and just so we can quickly navigate to that. We're going to open up our Steam and or however you got the game. I'm sure this will work for a non uh, kosher copy. And so go to like right click wherever you installed Dead Rising 1 at. Go to native Win64. And these are the two. I already compiled these. I'll delete these just to get them out of there to not confuse anybody. But the two files we need are, and I like to type these in, are arc rom system common.arc. Now I have these backed up somewhere else. I would highly recommend that you back these up just in case. Because if you don't, then you have to like re-download the game as a pain in the ass or have Steam verify it. So I use I always right click because I have a few mods installed. So I always make sure I'm grabbing the right one. So I'm not like editing something crazy. So minimize my Steam. So what we want to do here then is go to our Dead Rising 1 PC Arc tool. Open that up. And what you do, you just click and drag right onto the .exe. And hopefully you saw that. I'll run a little script. And you'll see a pop-up right in here. And I'm going to find the other one as well. It's the 001 arc. So I'm going to go... I'll probably type these into the description as, as well. But it came up right for me as arc rom plcos cos cos 001 cos 001. Yeah, so um, I figured that out thankfully. And we're just going to right click and make sure this is the correct one. Yeah, 164. And we're going to go into what we just did. We drag the arc file onto the arctool.exe. And we will go back. All right, cool. Now, now we have these compiled. I didn't delete, I didn't exit out of that, did I? All right, good. So go into arc rom system common. And we're going to navigate to, I think it's a model. PL. Yeah, PL. Zero, zero. Okay. Now we're going to go to our quick BMS folder and just go to the R texture. And we're going to grab. Oop, I messed that up. Texture tour. That's what I said in there. I always like to go multi windows like this because I'm lazy. So here we go. We're going to do R texture and we're going to click and drag them all into. Actually, not all of them. Wow. That would have probably messed some things up, I imagine. Go to your PL00 files and drag them into your PL00 folder. And that's going to, like I said, back up everything before you do this. Um, I said that before, just make sure you have backups. It's I need to reiterate that. Don't blame me, Stippo, or anyone else for screwing up your game. This is all on you. This is pretty, pretty sensitive stuff, I'd imagine. And so get out of that. Go to ArcRom001 model PL COS COS001 and click and drag that into there as well. Replace. Boom. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's everything. I think that's all the R texture files. I could have just did that click type, but uh, what, whatever. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed sometimes. And then go back to where you have your folder open for the Arc tool. And what this will do is recompile everything. So take your folder, drag onto the arctool.exe, hit run. And what that does is it takes the folder and recompiles it. And we're going to go to the arc rom system common. We're also going to drag that into there. And it's going to recompile everything. Pretty simple. I think it's, um, it took me like 15 minutes to figure this out and just finding things luckily uh stippo released a special forces mod and using some logic i was able to figure out where i was supposed to do these things so we're going to launch dead rising just to show you that i'm not 
joshing you here. I'm not fooling you. I'm not goofing and gaffing you. And like I said, this is all seamless. This is all one take. So not like I'd go out of my way really to um, fool people. There, I wouldn't waste the time doing that. So, and here we go. The black jacket, Frank. Um, and the pre-E3 the pre-E3 hair and we also have the pre-E3 HUD so this is very very cool I think this jacket looks better it's weird it kind of looks brown in certain lights but it's black it's shiny the textures are good and Frank's skin and his face as well you can see that hair that hair model yeah so I'm pretty happy with this um i was using stippo's uh security room mod with like infinite Mega Man busters and stuff like that yeah this is this is nice i like uh, pre e3 frank better um i'm really looking forward to stippo's um fuck you otis ah oh, oh this is that was like the worst feature trying to get the transmissionary mod uh before i get to um caught up in playing the game which tends to happen i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial hopefully it wasn't too painful um i would have done just like a text one but i feel like doing a step-by-step -step with you basically is more helpful um hopefully i was helpful hopefully 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 yeah all right guys uh see you next time on the next video hopefully you enjoyed it and i'm looking forward to other dead rising one mods and i'm you know probably gonna do a playthrough of this game like a challenge playthrough maybe in the future. So yeah, anyway, see ya. Hopefully you enjoyed it.